So you're thinking of moving to the west suburbs of Chicago. And we've already picked out the house. We already, um, you've already closed on it. But one of the things you didn't think about is how much is a tank of gas? How much is our groceries gonna cost us each week? Uh, first, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. So you'll never miss any updates on our channel here at Living in Chicago, Illinois. So what we did today was, and we did it all in one day. We compared the cost of everyday goods at Walmart. Another store we compared to was Jewel. And then we also included Meyer. Now Meyer is where Marilee and I always shop. So let's see what the cost of, of a typical, I don't know, random grocery bill, how's that? Is gonna cost you if you go to, if you shop at Walmart versus Jewel versus Meyer. And here's the numbers. So when we went to, we went to Walmart first. And again, we did this all in one day. And we looked at a loaf of bread. So we chose a butternut, a large loaf of butternut bread. Walmart had that for $2.38. Jewel had that same loaf for $3.49. And then Meyer had that loaf for $2.49. So Walmart was the big winner. Woo -woo. All right, for coffee, what we did is we looked at a 25.9 ounce of Folgers Classic Roast. And I'm not a coffee drinker, but Mary Lee is. Walmart had that uh, container of coffee for $9.97. Jewel had that same container for $11.99. And Meyer, had that same container for $10.49. So once again, Walmart's the big winner. We might have to start shopping at Walmart, who knows? All right, so one of my favorites is beer. So we looked at a 24 pack of Miller Lite. A 24 pack of Miller Lite at Walmart was $18.48. At Jewel, that same uh, 12, or excuse me, 24 pack was $18.99 and Meyer had it for $18.49. So once again, Walmart's leading the way. So we look at ketchup. We like Heinz, so we priced out Heinz ketchup, a 38 ounce bottle. Walmart, we came in at $4.48. Jewel was $5.99 and Meyer was $4.79. So once again, Walmart is leading the way on the um, keeping your cost of groceries down in the far west suburbs. Next up is we looked at a box of Honey Nut Cheerios, the family size. All right, so with the Cheerios at Walmart, we we're at 4.93. At Jewel, and this just doesn't make sense to me, it's hard to compute. Jewel had that same box for $8.99. A box of a cereal for almost nine bucks. It's crazy. Meyer had that same box for $4.79. So Meyer won on this one. On the milk, what we did is we looked at skim milk, just a gallon. Um, and we couldn't compare brands because it's milk's not obviously a national brand type of thing. So let's see what we had here. Uh, Walmart was the most expensive on milk. Walmart sold a gallon of milk, for skim milk, for $4.92. Now Jewel had the same one gallon uh, skim milk for $2.99. And Meyer was the big winner again now. Meyer was at $2.68. So pretty good price on the milk. Now, I told you earlier, I don't like coffee, uh, but I do like caffeine and I get my caffeine from Diet Dew. So we looked at a 24 pack of Diet Dew. Walmart uh, was the big winner here at $9.98. Jewel, uh, once again, was leading the most expensive pack. Uh, Jewel was at $14.99. And Meyer was at $13.99. So Walmart, big winner there. We like crunchy peanut butter in our house. Um, so I just chose Jif and we used a 40 ounce container. And Walmart had that um, 40 ounce Jif extra crunchy or crunchy peanut butter for $6.97. Jewel was $6.99 and Meyer was $5.79. And then everybody in our house likes strawberries. So we went ahead and looked, uh, we priced out a uh, pound of strawberries um, in the kind of a bigger container. And you'll see it when we look at the look at the video. But Walmart was $4.12. Jewel was $4.99 and Meyer was $4.49. So when we totaled up, how many items do we have? We had nine items. We had the bread, coffee, beer, ketchup, Cheerios and milk, diet dew, peanut butter and strawberries. The total bill at Walmart was $66.23. Jules bill was $17.41 and Myers bill was even at $68. So Walmart was the big winner. However, 
if you take out the fact that um, that Meyer that their diet do was four dollars more than at uh, at Walmart, Meyer would have been the big winner at sixty four dollars. So it's close. But uh, Walmart uh, Walmart is the best place to get your groceries when it comes to the regular staples. Um, of getting things for the cheapest price. So we also looked at gasoline. Exxon came in at 325 a gallon, Meyer gas came in at 326 a gallon, and Costco came in at $3.15 a gallon. For those of you that um, don't own a Costco membership, you might want to consider it. I drive, I don't know, about 2,000 miles a month, and um, we always get our gas at Costco whenever possible. And generally, we're gonna save, I'm just checking my notes, Generally, we save about 10 cents a gallon. So um, in addition, we've also noticed that when we buy more in a bulk type of capacity and keep stuff in the freezer, Costco is generally going to be the best price for us as well. We hope you enjoyed uh, today's program when we discussed the different costs of buying groceries, whether it be a Walmart, Jewel, or um, the Clements family uh, favorite of Meyer. Um, if we miss anything or if you have a grocery store that's your go-to, Please put it in the comments below, let us know, and uh, we'll be sure to review it on our next video. Thank you for joining us, and as always, we are here to help, and we'll talk with you soon.